Well, I don't know what I could tell you. It was pretty rough. Some other thing, Dougie. Do you remember hearing your father talk about the time the raft was uh, covered up down at uh, Bay Back? Back, yeah, yeah. Your father was pilot on on. Uh, well, I couldn't tell you that. Not on that one, but he was. Oh, he used to be pilot, all right. Yeah, on for the other company. They but were. They were. Uh, the crew couldn't they saw by was. Uh, Bird. Yeah. Never seen them yet. Is that right? Yeah. Where was it? On the Ottawa or the Madawaska? The Madawaska. On the Madawaska. Yeah, they carry a uh, very hairy bag. Yeah. And to her raft, uh, I guess it was uh, mixed. They had some oak on top of the pine. Yeah. And they went down and they never seen it. You know, here a few years ago, there was a part of the <coughs> piece of one of the sticks of timber sticking up. Is that so? Yeah. Well, they, could have, they could have found it then. When, but now you, the thing is all flooded. It's all a lake from oh, the yeah. dam. The dam is down below. They can't locate the spot. That's so. Where about would that be? Uh, how far down below the Below Calabogie. Below Calabogie. Yes. yes. Clay Bank. Clay Bank. Clay Bank. Yeah. That's one piece of the river I never drew. No. Well, I, I drove that yeah, right through to Shaw Lake. I used to go to Calabogie and uh, most of the time we had it paid off there. Yeah. yeah. At Calabogie? Yeah. And you come down yeah. from the park, was it? Uh, no, well, I didn't go up. I never would have passed the Pamela. I just used to take uh, about a trip, a short trip, you know. After I put in a bit of a crop, I'd go and... Uh, to the hay. Yes. Yeah. That time it was uh, hard to get work and uh, money was scarce, not like today. Mm -hmm. uh, wages wasn't big. You had to work uh, quite a while to get 40 or 50 dollars. Yeah. I drove at Rathburns. I drove with them uh, from early in the spring, from April to, to the Hague. Yeah. How long ago would that be, Mr. McConnell? It was. Uh, Over 60 years ago, about 65 years ago. About 65 years ago. I don't doubt that the first time in the assembly. I drove in the creek here uh, over 70 years ago. I was only 13 years old. Is that right? 13 or 14, something like that. <coughs> I went to school till I was uh, 12 years old. And I stayed at home. And I don't think I, w I don't know whether I want the next winter or not, next summer. Rathburn's come that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I drove there, and then the next year I went up on Highland. Got a little bit of more wages, and longer. Uh, this was only a short time, a week or two, you know. Where were Rathburn's? Uh well, they are at Deseronto, there's a big mill there. Uh, uh, England company from England come out to buy uh, ties and cedar mm -hmm. and uh, the mill there and, uh, I think they flattened the ties I'm not sure but the mill was run and they shipped her uh, right through you see they could load right there mm -hmm. into England so this would be after the days they took down the big square timber the big square pine the last square timber went down here to Gillis Gillis they took it down uh, cut around here. You must mind that too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they took down a raft. That's the last. Of it. They took it down in a raft down the. Uh, Not here, but the raft up in. Uh, Iron Prior. Yeah. What raft? You used to raft in Calabogie, uh, and <coughs> my dad's day. Is that right? Yeah. Give us See, this raft that was lost, it was rafted at Calabogie. And then I guess uh, no, the river is pretty stony there. Right? I guess they put it in this boat iron prior. All right. Well, I can mind when the timber was going down here. Well, but I, I was only young, very young. I never uh, drove on it, and that Gillis drove out a lot of it out of uh, Hyde Creek. Hyde Creek, yeah. yeah. yeah made it up back at Denby there. And, uh, they made it all over, wherever they could get a stick. Picked it up, wherever they could get it. 
And the half of it was no good. Is that right? You know, the fellows that were making it, if there was a spunk, they would uh, take a knot and drive it in and and fix it over. To cover it up. I heard Jack Carr, he was agent. And he said, I didn't blame the madame, I tried to do it myself. <laughs> but uh, an awful lot of it cold. You see, this this there, which was here, that time was three that was left a few years ago. Yeah, they were picked over, you know. They were all cold. Right. They were only about a good tree. And they'd drive those down singly. They wouldn't raft them here. Oh, they'd no. take them down singly down the river to uh, California. Very fine. No. Tommy Adams went down on that. You mind Tommy Adams? Yes. Yeah. He said he never was frightened of water in his life. He got away down there. <laughs> down in the wrong rapids. I don't know uh, wh- where, but he said the swells were ha- as high as this, higher than this. It's 16 miles, you know, Swift rapids water. there, yeah. from Springtown down. Oh, this is uh, this is down in the uh, northway. Oh, way down. Oh, oh, way down below. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess there's other rivers coming in, you know, and. Uh, yeah. He said, he said it was awful. The, the big, right. uh, it wasn't swells like for here, it just rolled. Well, he'd be in the, he'd be in the auto river, you see? Yeah, it's the auto river, way down the auto. Yeah. And then the auto goes into the St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence. Well, there's some bad places along there. Were you ever down there? Yeah, no, not on the drive. Up there no. the Montreal River. Yeah. But he said he never was frightened until he got there. Is that right? Look up to the he didn't uh, frighten anybody. The big swells, the waves. Uh, yes, the big awful swells. I worked mm-hmm. on the French. Hmm? I, I suppose that timber, uh, you couldn't have a soil enough, it wouldn't yeah. be working, you know. Yeah. yeah. Into the material, and uh, mm-hmm. you wouldn't be sure whether it's going to break or not. If it breaks, I guess you're done. It all come to pieces right yeah. down in the rapids, yeah. I never heard tell of it. Come around right? just like in that elbow. The drives that you took down, Mr. McPherson, did they come up from, uh, up the Madawaska, or? Uh, Oh, the ones that you went down uh, with on the log drive, where did they start? The highest tide. Right Palmer. Palmer, highest high. That's my picture in the, in the first floor. Okay. You never over in the first floor. Do you know me? No, not you, but it looks like, it looks yeah. like your brother Dan. No? Right. Is it? What's going on? See old there? He's what has a pole. And there's John, that's my uh, uh, but the other pole. <laughs> that guy there? Uh, maybe it's uh, just up. Yeah. It's Paddy. That, that's old Paddy. Paddy Dillon yeah, on the left side here with the pole. Yeah, John McClellan. He. John McClellan with yeah, the other pole. Young man. That's a wild place, you know. You wouldn't believe it till you've seen it. It's the white water, and then the big shoot here, and another big shoot here. We don't see them. The shoot up here on the left too. Yes, uh, you uh, a bit at the wolf, eh? Yes, on the wolf, yeah. Well, you see, it's between the two shoots. That was jammed right from the island, right up to the shore. Do you know any of the other people in that? No, I don't Just know the two people. Eh? That's all. Was Paddy Dillon the foreman, foreman at that time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's no old foreman. Uh, he's been in the river for years. No? Mm. Uh, how long ago would that be? Any idea? It's in the twenties. In the twenties, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess the uh, maybe twenty-five, twenty-six. That would be right in the spring of the year. I don't see any leaves on the trees there yet. I think it'll rarely. Is that the you know any of them? Uh, is that the one that you are on the drive? Yeah. Now in between the two shoots, Pete. Yeah. Uh, the water. Yeah. Not a very ha- a nice place to be there. Gosh, there's quite a few on there. No, I can never tell. Old Paddy is uh, and John. Uh, my John he is uh, old. Uh, well, they're working, and the rest, I guess. Oh, uh, it wouldn't be very well for them to be too many out there. Well, <laughs> they never gave way. You know them? Uh, it's, uh, he knows. Oh, that's not right. I thought there's other ones. No. <laughs> Is this the army picture, Mr. McClellan? Yeah. Army picture. Taking them on you. Yeah. You didn't know I was out there, eh? Who's that? Young company in here to know? No. 
No, you can't. You can't tell them. You know. The doggy says he knows Paddy and and Hey sure. Jack. That's all I know. Well, I know them uh, that time. But, uh, there's there's a character. Working on John someplace, eh? They say on the on the John, they're at the work. Yeah, between the two suits. Oh, a jam, a jam from the island. You mind yeah. it? Right up. I know that they have either. What did they have there to make it go down the chute? Did they have booms to sort of guide it down? Oh, no. Don't roof. Tail boom, huh? Tail boom on the, on the dead water. Yeah. And the chute for that had to let it go. So they all built Yeah. And Pat. Yeah. Go and Pat there? They're my great uncles. Your uncles? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right here. He was buried here. Oh, are you, are you were, uh, his sister, my mother was. Uh, uh, his sister, my sister is his, his mother. Uh, your sister? Yeah. Edna. Oh, yes, Castle. Yeah. I uh, was talking to her not long ago. I never seen her since she uh, taught school. No. Yeah. Here uh, last summer. Well, Met well. her in the uh, hospital. Yeah, she used to teach school in Black Dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's all right. I thought you were one of the uh, boys who just live on the farm there. He's working in Renfrew now. Well, that's uh, Aldi. That's, that's his father. His father, yeah? Yes, that's, yeah. No, you're right. I'm not, I'm not going there. No. Uh, so my father married Edna Carswell. Yeah. I can't tell any of them, I can't move glasses, can't you? That's Uncle Pat and Uncle Bill. Can you see him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I have some here to go and fix it. You want to tell them about trying to cut my throat? What was that, Mr. Kelly? He wants to tell you the story about trying to cut my throat with the axe. Where was this? So we're trying to handle you people. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, you tell him that story. <laughs> well, did you fall or something? No. No. Him and I was cutting logs down at Mud Creek for Tom McLeod. Tom and Tom, yeah. Yeah, for uh, Gillis. For Gillis. Tom yeah. McLeod was foreman. Yeah, I remember that. And Pete and I was cutting, cutting logs together. You know what kind of a guy we'd be. <laughs> well, I <can't. laughs> So he fell a cedar in a, a log. And I took the axe to knock it off the top, and it happened to be hollow, and Pete was standing behind with a saw up like this, and the axe went through and went right around Pete's neck, and the hand we caught him on the, on the chin here. Yeah, <laughs> you cut me here. And I thought for sure that the idea was really proppy down me. <laughs> That's the way you uh, look there, you killed him. It's around the diamond face you ever yeah. seen. That's the way you look there, you killed him. The, the knocking it off the stump. Yeah. Was this? On that side, there was just um, a shell yeah. about a half an inch thick, and the axe went right through it. And this one was right on Oh, it's the axe one. The axe, not the tree. Oh, no, no, the oh that, that, was, that was putting your worst. Cut your head off. <laughs> 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 well, I said, Joe, though, right here, the, the tree come back, did you? Yeah. You know, you shouldn't try to stand near a tree. No, uh, no. When, uh, when, uh, well, they, they shouldn't uh, knew better because Joe could hardly see. Couldn't you. see good. Pretty yeah. long after that, we broke the saw and we're, we're each afraid to take it in if ever we get fired. <laughs> 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 you, uh, you and Pete broke it. <laughs> that time, if you broke anything, uh, you know, uh, yeah. heard about it. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. out of paper. Yeah. Would it come out of your pay in those days? Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. I lost your yeah. damage. Yeah. No. <laughs> get out there. Yeah. Did you ever. Uh, Live and work in the old Camboose shanties? Uh, well, I, I stayed born or two nights in, uh, up in Highland Creek. We went up to, I went up to drive. And uh, I was there on Sunday night. We stayed Sunday and Monday night. And that's all I ever. It's not the place for men, eh? Did you ever stay in them? No, I stayed in them at the end, but I never. Oh, uh, no light, no. Never no. worked in them. No. Just fire. And a big hole, a hole. Uh, the hole is half the size of the, the ceiling. Yeah. It's going this way. You'd wonder how in the devil that uh, didn't take fire. Yeah. I often wonder that. And the fire's going right through it. Yes, sparks and everything. 
There's not many network books in there. No, I guess not. Yeah, everybody, everybody dies as red as a coal of fire mm. from the smoke. From the smoke, is that right? It would be pretty cold in there too. Oh, it wasn't cold. After the fire went down, the place was cold. Yeah. It wasn't. This wasn't. The, it was in the, in May when I was there. I guess I'm the only man in this country that slept in a living now that slept yes, in one of them. Yes, yes. Another but I slept in a, in a tent up north. And uh, oh, it was a 40 foot tent. And for a sleep camp, we were building the camp. You see, and, uh, we stayed in there for two months, way up near Christmas. And that was, we were sorry when we left. Mm -hmm. it was they built a, a, a wall about that high. Logs, and then they pulled the tent down over them, and banked it. Well, then right in the centre of it, they dug a hole about that deep, and put the box stove down in there. And that ground was all warm all the time and all day. Oh, it was comfortable. Well, uh, it's funny how a tent is warm. Yeah. Uh, you'd wonder, you wouldn't think, uh, but the tent was really warm. Yeah. Yes, you could stop the the coal from the bottom. The bottom. Yeah. It's fine. That's oh. the the place we eat uh, moose meat for two months. You've never seen a bite of any other kind of meat. That's way that stick to your ribs there, please. In very well. <laughs> I never wanted to see moose meat anymore. <laughs> so that, uh, we're carrying on here one Sunday. A fellow named Walter Lamb. He had a suit. He was, he was, uh, he was in, uh, I don't know, it was the first or second war he was in. And it was in on the on the bed there, and I got it on. And uh, he had a camera. I never thought of it, you know, and he snapped it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had it out in Pinkston. He was showing some of the lads there, some people. And he said, that was our uh, general out in the world. He says, the darn wonder he didn't get a suit to fit him. <laughs> so, uh, Walter Lamb, was, uh, he weighed over 200. Right oh, big tall man. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> was it the first of all you were on? Uh, no, the last one. Well. I thought that suit looked funny on you. <laughs> it didn't look right. I don't know how, how uh, it, it, it don't look so bad. Have you seen it? It's on the bottom. A different, uh, different suits than you had in the last one. I don't know if that's the last one or not. That's a... Uh, it looks like the First World War. That's the First World War. Yeah. First summer suit. What was the uh, the Campo shanty like? How many men would be in? Well, oh, well it uh, depends on. Uh, they could make a big tent, a big uh, tent. You know, there were seats all around. No tables or nothing. That thing. Last check your edition. Oh, I suppose it hold. Uh, it had a whole party of fifty men. Uh, I was up at. Um, Ferguson's. I went looking for work one time, and I was in. Uh, I'm sure there that, that camp would hold 50 men. It was big. And whether there was a sleep camp of oh, it, I don't mind. But that's uh, that's a long while ago. That was in back at Edley, up to, uh, in Straight Creek. And I went through the bush from uh, Denby, where old 